Hi there, I'm April, and today I'll be taking you through our platform and how you'll collaborate with our freelancers on your projects. I'll be showing you how to communicate with freelancers, how to review your project as it's being worked on, request changes as needed, and receive your final files. Let's get started. When you open the platform, the homepage will be your personalized dashboard. At the top of the screen, you will see your profile picture, if you've uploaded one, and your name. You can click on either of these to open your account settings. Here, you can update your account information, such as your email, time zone, and password. View and update your profile information, including your About Me section, your personal information, and your profile picture, and your reviews from freelancers. You can also update your notifications, newsletter subscription, and other preferences. When you open any other page than the dashboard, the account settings can be found in the top right-hand corner of the page. The dashboard also shows our latest blog posts, with great tips to take your publishing journey to the next level, as well as any active promotions we're running. Next, you will see any action items. Here you'll see notifications alerting you when it's time for you to approve the draft, select a freelancer, approve an extension, and so on. You can view and open your projects that are in active stages and review your team if you have created one. We also feature our top performing freelancers each month. You can click on their image to view the profile and invite them to your projects. On the left-hand sidebar, you will see the Post a Project button, which is where you'll create your projects directly on our platform. The Project Management tab is where you can find all of your active and fulfilled projects, manage invites you've sent, see your sample orders, and view messages from chats with freelancers on your projects. When you open projects, the Active sub-tab will display your current active projects and the Completed Projects sub-tab will display your fulfilled orders. Samples will display any samples you have requested from freelancers or ordered through Post a Project. You can see any active or fulfilled samples as well as requested samples which have not been accepted by freelancers yet. The Samples tab will open the same page to review and manage your samples. View your pending invites to freelancers via the Invites button under the Manage Invites tab. If at any point you want to cancel an order invite, click on the X to confirm cancellation. Under Messages, you can easily find, read, and respond to all the chats from your active orders in one easy place, without having to navigate to each order page to respond to messages. Freelancer management allows you to browse our team of fantastic freelancers under Search Freelancers. You can also view any freelancers you've favorited and read direct message conversations you've started with individual freelancers. The Help Center bubble at the bottom left of the screen contains resources with information on several common customer questions, as well as the option to contact our customer success team. They are available in live chats from 5 a.m. to 5 p.m. Eastern, Monday to Friday, and you can use the contact form to send an email and receive a response within 24 hours on weekdays or 48 hours on weekends. In the top right hand corner, you can find your account settings and platform notifications related to new project messages and project status updates. Next, I'm going to showcase several platform features that will help you in getting your project started and ready for publishing. If this is your first time working with us, your project might go into the needs verification status. This status indicates that you will be required to upload a picture of your government issued photo ID to the platform account. To upload your ID for verification, navigate to your account settings in the right hand corner of the platform. Upload your photo ID to this section, then click update to save. The admin team will complete the verification within 24 hours. Once your ID is verified, you'll get a platform notification and the status of your project will also change to the new or on hold status if there's anything still needed in order for the project to move into new. The best way to acquaint yourself with our platform and what exactly is included with your projects is by clicking into each of them and exploring the project page. 
The project page will detail the package type, the number of revisions shown as a draft count, and your freelancers once they've been assigned to your project, among other details. You can see the status that your order is currently in, and these information bubbles have been added to show you what each status means and what you can expect and do during this status. You'll also be able to view the start date of your freelancer here, as well as their expected delivery date, based on the number of days agreed upon when the request or invite was accepted. The expected delivery date might change during the process if extensions are requested. You can also modify your project details by clicking on the Modify Order button. Keep in mind that you can only do so before a freelancer is assigned to your project. Once a freelancer is assigned, however, the Modify button will no longer be available on the project page, since no further changes can be made to the requirements once the freelancer has agreed to them. Once they're assigned, you can reach out to the customer success team via the Help Center bubble if any project details need changing. You'll notice that certain items within your project will remain on hold, while others are moved into procession right away. This is done purposely so that your projects are completed in an orderly fashion one after another. Certain projects allow you to move them into procession all on your own using the Resume button on the project page. For other projects, you will need to upload the necessary requirements file in order to move them into the new status. All writing projects must have an outline uploaded under the order details in order to be moved into the new status. To invite a freelancer or accept a request, see our video on selecting your freelancers. It's important to note that when inviting freelancers to projects, at certain times, options may be grayed out. This means that that specific freelancer is not qualified to work on that item of your project. Now I'm going to take you through a full project page walkthrough. Let's get started by exploring the project page and seeing what features are available to you. You'll have access to the following tabs, document, chat, order details, and shared files. The document tab contains a view document button, which will take you to the Dibley create document in which your project is being created. You can watch and comment as the project is being worked on in real time. Highlight any text you want to comment on and click on the speech bubble in the ribbon that pops up to request any changes. You'll be able to review and either approve or reject the changes made by your freelancer by opening up the document comments tab. Do this by clicking the speech bubble at the top right of the page. The chat tab gives you access to communication with your assigned freelancers. Type the at symbol to tag the user you wish to reach. The order details tab will include the details you inputted when you initially posted your project, and it is where you can upload the basic requirements files for certain order types. You can upload your final ebook file under this tab on a paperback formatting order so the formatter has the correct file to format, or you can upload a completed outline to a writing project under this tab so the project can get started. The Shared Files tab allows you to upload any additional files you want to share with your freelancer during the process. Select the Upload File button in the corner and choose the file you want to share. You can also download all shared files using the Download All button, but you're able to download each file individually by clicking the Download button underneath the file itself. You can remove files you've uploaded by clicking the Minus button. Freelancers are also able to upload files here to share with you, but please note they are not allowed to upload final files before project approval from you. If your freelancer is ever in need of an extension to complete your project, you'll receive a platform notification notifying you of the extension request. A button will also appear on the project page. Click on it to review the number of days requested as well as the reason. You can tick the yes or no box under approve extension and provide a reason if you do not approve it. Then click on submit. The extensions history button will also display the history of the extensions for this specific project. Extensions for 10 days or less after the current due date will be auto approved by the platform 
if no action is taken within 48 hours after the freelancer submitted it. We hope this helps you get started on the platform. We can't wait to get started on your new project and look forward to helping you bring it to life. If you still have questions about our platform, don't hesitate to get in contact with our customer success agents by live chat or email for project support or by phone for platform navigation support. They'll be more than happy to help you.